Okay, here are the things that you'll need for today. Your iPad, a pencil, math notebook, and your math journal. We're going to actually do the journal work at the end of the lesson. Uh, when you see this icon, make sure you're adding things to your notebook. If you don't see the icon and you want to write something in your notebook, write it down in your notebook. That's all good. So today our title for our notebook is All Things Triangle. And our learning target today is today you will work to have a better understanding of what makes a triangle a triangle. So we're, we're going to really talk about um, several things. And here's our first question. Give a real example of when it is important to know the angle measures of a triangle. So write some ideas there and uh, pause this and come on back. So let's talk a little bit about a couple terms, interior versus exterior. So interior is anything on the inside of your house, any of the rooms, any of the spaces, closets, etc. on the inside. Exterior is the outside of your house. So if we look down here at these two examples, uh, here's a triangle that has an exterior angle of 2A, a degree of, of measure, and then we have two interior angles of 80 degrees and A minus 5 degrees. So those are interior angles, the 2A is exterior. Here with this transversal and two parallel lines that we saw in yesterday's um, uh, work, we have we have eight angles, we have four interior, four exterior. The exterior angles are on the outside, one, five, four, and eight, and the interior are two, six, three, and seven. They're inside the parallel line, so that's why we call those interior angles. All right, uh, you should have written those in your notebook, and uh, pause this at any time. Let's write these next three in your notebook as well. So the first one is obtuse, and obtuse is an angle anything greater than 90 degrees. So we say obtuse like moose because it's a big angle. And then we have, oh, we have a cute little angle, and it's less than 90. So 89 degrees down to 1 degrees, those are acute angles, little angles. Okay, and then we have 90. And 90 is always noted with that box in the corner. Please, please, please put these in your notes. Okay, draw the pictures, add those to your notebooks. Really important. We're going to use those a lot. All right. Next thing that you have, and I want you to do this work right in your notebook, is find the interior angle, the missing interior angle uh, of these triangles. Now, to do that work, we have to understand what a triangle is. So a triangle, the interior angles all equal 180 degrees. Okay, so to do this, we're just going to use algebra. We don't know this one. It's x. It's unknown. So we're going to say x plus 70 plus 70 is 180. Okay. Now you know how to solve that equation. Okay. And then we have subtract that 140. So x is equal to 40. So and if we look at that, 140 and 40, uh, that's 180. So that proves that, yep, those interior angles are 180. There's no exceptions to this. If it is a triangle, the interior angles will equal 180 degrees. All right, so go ahead and do these five problems, two, three, four, five, and six, in your notebook, and then uh, hit play when you are ready to go on. Okay, here are your answers. Uh, 40, 45, 41, 36, 63, and 60. 60 is that number six. All right, this next problem. Let's go ahead and find the value of x. So again, pause. Good luck on letter B, and I'll see you on the next slide. Okay, so let's go through this. Here we set up our equation. We solved, okay? These two values equal to 80. We subtracted 80 from each side. X is 100 degrees. Here, same thing. X plus X, the quantity of X plus 28. And now this 90 appears because this is a right angle. This is also known as a right triangle. No, there is no wrong triangle or wrong angle, okay? So x here is equal to 31. Now we can solve for this one as well. 31, supplement in or substitute in, and then add that 28. Keep it rolling here. All right, so here again, pause, find the value of x, and then let's move on. Okay, so our values of x, remember that all of those angles are 180 degrees. Here's our obtuse angle. Uh, it's called an obtuse triangle because x is, has that obtuse angle, and it's 107. And then here we have a right triangle right there. 
And anytime we see that little box, remember 90 degrees, it's a right triangle. And then here's how we solve those. I'm going to keep rolling. Pause at any time if you want to write things down or check your work. Find the value of x. Okay. So do this work and uh, pause the video, and I'll see you on the next slide. So here are our answers. Um, if you need any help on that one, just really think about what we've already done, and I think it'll be very clear. Now, this question is different. It says find the measure of the exterior angle. So if we want to find the measure of the exterior angle, this is not tricky. And I'm just going to jump to the next slide. Uh, you can pause to write these down. Uh, but here we are. So this is not tricky. We don't have to solve for this unknown angle and then use the supplement to solve here. Although that would be really clever if you thought of that. That would work. But here's what we're going to do. Instead, we're going to say that x is equal to 36 plus 72. And then that equals 108. So that right there is equal to 108. This one is the supplement to 108. And if you remember from yesterday's lesson, the supplement, supplementary angles equal 180 degrees. And so 108 plus 72 would equal 180. So that angle right there, that straight angle or 180 degree measurement, uh, that, would, that would work out. Now this one, whoop, this one is a little different, okay? This one is a little different because we have 2a, and we're going to set that equal to the interior angles. So not all that different than the other problem. Now we're going to solve. We're going to subtract an a from each side. Okay, and we did our combined work here to get 75, and we get a equals 75. That's what a equals, but this out here is 2a. So we're going to, sub, uh, we're going to substitute in that 75 for 2, and we're going to get that... 150 degrees. So that's 150 degrees, which means that this is an acute angle here, and guess what? That would be 30, and that's that supplementary angle rule that we learned yesterday. All right, moving on. Go ahead and pause the video, do these problems. Let's go through it. So again, we're trying to find the exterior angle, okay? And that first one, this is what it's going to look like. X is equal to 28 plus 64. So x is equal to 92. So the measure of the exterior angle is 92. And that means that that supplement there is equal to, that's right, 88. All right. Now here, we're going to set 3a equal to these two interior angles. And we're going to go ahead and solve. And that's our work. a is equal to 47. And then remember that that's only what a equals. We want to know what 3a is. So we've got to go just a step farther, and we're going to substitute in that 47 times the times 3, and that is 141. So that actually there is 141 degrees. All right. Well, an airplane leaves Miami and travels around the Bermuda Triangle. What is the value of x? Okay, so really we're just asking, what is that, that degree of measure there? So is that a, b, c, or d? Pause the video, do the work. See you in a second. So let's take a look what we did here. We just really set everything equal to 180, because remember that the interior angle sum of a triangle should be 180 degrees. So we wrote the equation. We just copied everything from inside the triangle. Now we combined like terms, subtracted 18 from each side. We divided each side by 3, and we got 54. So x is equal to 54. So that is uh, c is the correct answer there. All right, here we have a car. A car travels around the park, shown below. What is the value of x? Okay, so just solve these just like the other. Pause the video, and I'll see you in a second. So if we take a look at this, remember that the sum of the angles measure, the interior angles, 180. I'm going to keep saying that. I hope you get it. Okay, and so when I write that equation, I set that equal to that 180. That gives me the equation, not just an expression. Okay, and then there's my work right there. I'm going fast. Remember, you can pause this. Or you can also go back and listen to this at any time. But I want to try to be done in under 15 minutes. So find the measure of the exterior angles again. Okay, just set these equal. Okay, so here this one should be really easy. 
Uh, this one is going to just be a little more complicated because of the combining and then five. And I'm going to give you answers on the next one, so pause this video, do the work, and I'll be right back. So here we've got some answers. This one was 70. It's right there. This one I want to show you. I want to show you number four. Okay. So I'm, I've set that 2n plus 20 and n, I've set that equal to the 4n minus 20. And then in doing so, this is what I get. Uh, I did combining. And then I did some adding of 20 to each side and subtracting of 3n to each side. And I get n is equal to 40. And then what I did here is my exterior angle, when I supplement that 40n, I get 160. So that's, that's 40 times 4 minus the 20. And that gives us the 140 degrees for the exterior angle. And then I thought, well, let's just check my work. So if x is equal to, or n, excuse me, is equal to 40, then this has to be 100, which it is. And I just do that by substituting 40 in for each of those values. All right. Uh, we're, do, we're on great time here. Okay. Um, okay, a couple more things to do in this lesson. So go ahead and take this mini assessment to see if you can solve for uh, x on the first three and then the exterior angle value on four and five. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you on the next slide. All right, here are your answers. I hope you did that work. Uh, and um, I think as we've gone through these things, remember you can rewatch these videos. You can also listen to my explanation of how to set up these problems. Um, but I think you should be good now. On page 203 in your um, math journal, that's the green workbook, uh, you should, I would really highly encourage you to do these pages. Uh, there's one of my favorite activities in there uh, where you draw a triangle and rip the corners off and then you measure them. So if you have a protractor, you can do that. If not, you can just look at what the book did. Um, but guess what the, the three angles equal? I bet you'll never guess after today's lesson. Don't say 180 because you'll only be correct. Okay, so do those journal pages, okay? And again, that starts on page 203. If you do not have your math journal, remember I've posted these pages for you in Schoology, and you can just drop those into Notability and work on those without paper. I know that's, that's weird, but we're going to be without paper for a while. All right. Now, uh, you have big ideas tonight for homework, and I'll post that. Uh, this should be for um, April 8th, and then uh, make sure that you also use StudyMate. StudyMate is that link that I made, and it's got all these terms. So in today's lesson, uh, the, the several terms are obtuse, like moose, acute little angle, acute angles, and then right angles, and then interior and exterior angles. And then all of yesterday's stuff is in there, too. So make sure you're using that. All right. Uh, this is Mr. Gable, uh, and I'm out for math today. I'll probably see some of you in small group, and take care.